Okay, good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2010. I am in Guozhan. I am documenting my experiences. It's getting really out of hand. I try to keep a journal, but it's just too... too crazy to try to keep a journal. At night when I try to write, <laughs> I'm learning Creole um, from my friends and I don't have time to do it or I'm just too tired um <sighs> so yesterday um was was Tuesday and we we were in Guozhan I mean we 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 went down to um in the morning we went to uh Port-au-Prince and in Port-au-Prince we um we went to do a couple things we went to the coalition for Haiti which is a a number of different organizations that have already been working in Haiti prior to the earthquake they um <clears throat> they decided to form a coalition so they could be more effective <clears throat> i guess maintaining their individual um agendas uh, um and objectives but at the same time um they're able to do more because of um, um they combine their resources um so we were down there that was that was pretty good um and then um, what did we do? We went to a few places, um, um, and we met a, uh, a group of people who were working on a road, um, to a village that is in the mountains, way in the mountains, and it's really cold, um, I don't even know the name of the, of the village, but they don't, most of the people there haven't, haven't seen a car, um, so this is the type of village, so there's no road leading out. So this guy and 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 uh, and some of his friends, they're building a road. So he's he's hired the people of the village of of the town, uh, 300 of them, to build this road so they can get aid in and stuff because there hasn't been anything going up up that way. So um, he doesn't have money to pay them, so they they pay the workers in food, but they ran out of food, <clears throat> um, and they have about 15 more days left. So so um, some members of the group uh, donated some money to help. Uh, fund the feeding of the group. Um, I'm going to do some of that when I get back home. I'm going to send some money up because I think it's a great idea. And there are about 15 days left for them to finish it. Uh, they have 15 more days of work um, left. So, and it costs about $50 US dollars to feed them a day um, for for the whole group. But they want to, you know, that's like meagerly. They want to feed them, so they want to come back to work the next day. So, um, but they got enough money, I think, to get the road done. We'll find out. Um, and then on my next visit, I'll be able to go up there. But uh, today we're going into Port-au-Prince again. And we are going to meet... Uh, we're going to go do some work. Uh, we're going to go into a, um, a, 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 like a tent city. We'll go into one of those and we'll go see some stuff and uh, work with some kids. Um, I was down in a tent city yesterday. No, no, not a tent city. We went to a school yesterday in Port-au-Prince that was closed because, well, there aren't any schools that are really open after the, the earthquake, but um, uh, yesterday we went to one where uh, Pastor Matthew has a school. Um, right now it's, it's being used as, you know, to house people, but uh, he says it'll open on, the, on, on, on April 5th, so we'll see how that goes. But it was cool because I was playing with a lot of the kids there um, and, and, the neighbor, and the kids in, in the neighboring area. Um, so they all came in and we're playing games. It was really fun. So I had a good time. So hopefully I'll get to do some more of that today um, in a little while. So um, just want to let you know what's going on. And uh, it's already Wednesday. Ah.